Well, you guys finally got me to talk about something DeviantArt related. I hope you're happy. Nah, I'm just kidding. I know the website has garnered a reputation for itself in the past decade. However, I do feel there is some discussion for it and how it influenced art forever. I've always wanted to do a video analyzing trends and other aspects of deviant art culture. However, there's just a wide variety of things to discuss. This may become a full-fledged series, but don't hold your breath on it. It's already hard enough to maintain one show, let alone possibly three. But for now, let's focus on the topic at hand. Bases, or base art as it's known. What is a base exactly? A base is an image that is usually taken from a screenshot of a TV show or movie, but with everything stripped away. Even the hair. My wig. This gives the user the ability to add in whatever they want and can imagine scenarios with their OCs or even mess around with canon. They are typically used by kids or budding artists who want to get their feet wet and really, who could blame them? Most of the work is done for them and the only thing they have to do is add the hair, clothes, accessories, etc. The appeal of base art is similar to various doll maker games that were prevalent throughout the 2000s. They were blank slates that served as a vessel for kids to project onto and to act out certain scenes with them. However, base art has been heavily stigmatized by artists for various reasons. They range from it doesn't help artists to it being a big producer of bad or cringy art. Let's rip the bandage out right now. Of course the bases aren't going to look good. They're usually being made by people who are starting on this whole art thing. Also, if you still describe things that you don't like as being cringe, then your argument is automatically invalid. And of course, not all base art is bad. There are instances of good base art, and they can be a gem in a rough. In fact, I've been seeing people make their own original bases in recent years than traced ones. The biggest problem with this argument is that it paints all base users with the same brush. These people are using bases, which is bad, so therefore the artist is bad. There's also grumbling about it not being real art, however that is a moot point because art at the end of the day is subjective and we cannot objectively define what is or isn't real art. The first episode of Fake It Till You Make It Art School was all about that. On top of that, it falls into the whole no true Scotsman logical fallacy where someone will make a generalization to deliberately exclude a counterexample. The biggest this argument against base art is that it hinders beginners and continuing to use them is not going to help them grow. I disagree with that notion. To say that artists will be hindered by using bases is bullshit. I first used bases when I was starting off doing art before going on to create my own original artwork and so did many other artists. And even if someone still decides to use base art, they can still learn new techniques in making art. Using myself as an example again, I learned the important of using layers and applying techniques like shading and lighting. We all start somewhere. Here's another radical notion. Not everyone wants to be the next Picasso and will just stick to doing base art instead. And that's okay. Aside from acting out certain scenes with their OCs, bases serve as another way for artists to convey their OC or idea. Say for example, you are someone who has a fursona and you're looking into commissioning a fursuit in the future. However, you can't draw and you don't have the money to commission someone to make a reference sheet for you. So you go on DVD art to find some references and you wind up getting them to help you convey your OC. Sometimes I wonder why artists get very defensive over the usage of base art and there are a couple ideas I could come up with. The main one is how many people have become narrow-minded when it comes to defining art. When people think of the word art, they often think of a piece that took a long time to create and looks beautiful. They don't think of art by Jean-Michel Basquiat or Duchamp. In fact, when people see works like those, they will discuss how it looks rushed, lazy, and how anyone could easily do it. The same logic applies to base art. People say that base art is bad because anyone can create it, therefore it reduces the value of art. It also ties into the whole connotated definition as well. Base art is mass produced, so therefore it isn't art, because art requires skill and talent. 
Another theory could be a case of gatekeeping. Gatekeeping refers to the activity of deliberately keeping people out of access to a community or fandom. But why would artists, a large group of lovely people who come from various walks of life, engage in such behavior? Simple insecurity. Some artists don't like the notion that not only can base art be mass produced, but also can be seen as art, so they would rather exclude base users than to embrace them and let them enjoy the community. That or the people are just simply assholes who don't want people to have fun. There's always that. Ultimately, bases are harmless. Base art can be helpful for artists to convey ideas and possibly learn a thing or two about art. Sometimes people don't want to learn how to make art and rely on bases, and that's okay. They shouldn't have to be shamed or ridiculed for using base art.